Welcome to Electron Line. In this example, we're going to take the derivative of x squared times the inverse hyperbolic sine of x. Again, a nice example to see how we would do that. And the trick is to take the inverse hyperbolic function, in this case the sine of x, and rewrite it in terms of its equivalent in terms of x. So now we see that we have a product. When we take the derivative, we're going to use the product rule in this case. So dy dx is equal to the first times the derivative of the second. So that would be times 1 over x times or x plus the square root of x squared plus 1 times the derivative of what's inside, which would be 1 plus 1 half times, that would be x squared plus 1 to the minus 1 half power times the derivative of what's inside, which is 2x. So here we have the first times the derivative of the second plus the second, which is the square root of x squared. Oop. Not quite. So plus the second, which is the whole thing right here, which is um, the natural log of and I don't think I need this parenthesis here, the natural log of x plus the square root of x squared plus 1 times the derivative of the first, which is 2x. All right, so it looks like we have two separate terms. We have the first term, which we can simplify, and we have the second term, so let's see what this looks like. So this becomes equal to, we'll put that on top, so we have x squared divided by x plus the square root of x squared plus 1. Here, that would be times this quantity right here. We have a 1 half times 2x, so the 1 half cancels out the 2. So we have 1 plus x divided by the square root of x squared plus 1, like this. So that would be 1 plus this, that looks good. And then plus 2x times the natural log of x plus the square root of x squared plus 1. All right, and now it just becomes an algebra exercise. I think what I want to do next is write this over common denominator to see how we can simplify that. So we have x squared divided by x plus the square root of x squared plus 1. And here this would be times, that would be x squared, whoop, x squared plus 1 plus x, whoop, divided by, this should be an x, divided by the square root of x squared plus 1, and then plus 2x times the natural log of x plus the square root of x squared plus 1. All right, can we simplify anything? Oh, yes, we certainly can. Notice here we have an x plus the square root of x squared plus 1. We have the same over here, so this cancels with this which then leaves us with x squared divided by the square root of x squared plus 1, and then plus 2x times the natural log of x plus the square root of x squared plus 1, and that looks like about as far as we want to go. Of course, you could probably write it in different formats, but that's a good one in my book. So that's the derivative of our original problem. You see that some of these can get quite lengthy, especially when we look at the equivalent of our inverse hyperbolic functions. But at least, here's another good example to take a look at. And that's how it's done.